To make a planet where there are clear divides between one side and the other, you may find this video extremely useful. This planet that I'm showcasing is actually a fictional planet from Star Wars called Bandamere, which I created in Blender. So to create it, I started off by making my scene by adding a sphere and scaling it up whilst also adding a subdivision surface modifier onto it, which was about two. This will unfortunately create for some distortion on the bottom and the top of the sphere, but this won't be visible once an atmosphere and clouds are added. Before we can add a texture, we need to place our camera and light sources. I began with the camera and changed the passport out to one, so we only see what's inside the scene. You then want to add a sun and angle it appropriately. I put the sun at a value of six. You will then want to add a point lamp to the other side and change it to 100 watts. Before we can add our planet's texture, we have to go to this texture website called Solar System Scopes and download one of their textures. As long as it does not include any large bodies of water on it, you should get a good result. Now we can start adding a shader to the planet. I have already constructed the node so I can talk you through it. First thing you want to do is add a mix shader and plug it into the surface of the material output. This mix shader will have two principal BSDFs plugged into either shader port. The first principal BSDF will have a color ramp plugged into the base color with the texture we downloaded from the website plugged into the factor port of the color ramp. It should start off with the darker colors on the left as this will appear at the peaks of the texture whilst the colors that are on the right will be the lower parts of the texture. Change this until you get a result you are happy with and you can add more or less points in it to fit your style. The texture will also want to be plugged into a bump node with a strength of about 0.075. This should then be plugged into the normal of the principal BSDF and displacement of the material output. The bottom principal BSDF is meant to be the water texture so I changed this to a dark blue and added a roughness of 0.4. So how is this going to mix? Well to do this we want to go back to the mix shader and plug a map range into the factor. This will have a from minimum and a from maximum of 0.4. You then need to add a separate x, y and z node that plugs into the value port using the x. You can use the y or z if you like as this just determines the location of the split. The last nodes you need to add is a mix RGB, a noise texture and a mapping node and even a texture coordinate. The texture coordinate plugs into the vector port on the mapping node using the object port. This also plugs into colour 2 of the mix RGB. The mapping node then plugs into the vector of the noise texture. The noise plugs into the mix RGB in colour 1. And then you want to finally plug the mix RGB into the separate X, Y and Z node. So the final part of this node setup that you want to change is the noise texture. The detail can be changed to about 5.8, roughness to about 0.51, distortion to 0.5. The scale will now change how the water and land looks when meeting. I do want to thank Crazy Train for helping me create this texture node setup. So on to the clouds. For the clouds you want to duplicate the planet and scale it up and replace the texture. The clouds texture is very simple with a texture coordinate plugged into a mapping node with a texture of clouds from the solar system scopes website. This then plugs into both the alpha channel of the principal BSDF and factor of the color ramp. The color ramp then plugs into a map range that has a from maximum of 10 and a from minimum of zero. This then plugs into a displacement. The displacement has a mid level of zero and a scale of 0.4. This finally then plugs into displacement. If you want it to work for EV, just change the blend mode to alpha blend. The atmosphere is cycles exclusive, so I've left a link to another channel's video if you want to make it for EV. But do watch till the end, as we will learn how to make the starry background for the scene. For the atmosphere, this setup starts with a texture coordinate that plugs into the vector transform. Make sure the vector transform is on vector, world and object. This then plugs into a separate X, Y and Z. Now add five math nodes. Three of them need to be changed to multiply and the X, Y and Z needs to plug into the values of the math nodes. X goes in the top one, Y goes in the middle one and Z on the bottom. 
they then all go into math nodes that are set to add and this all feeds into two color ramps. The top one is the color of the atmosphere. It should go from a dark color to a light one. The bottom one is the fall off for the atmosphere. The first one should be black and then you want to have a white one. The white one I had to put on about 0.918. And the final one, which is the black, is at 0.968. That way it fades off so that you get this nice gradient. Finally, another math node. Yep, another one. This one is multiply and the bottom color ramp plugs into the top value. The top color ramp plugs into the principal volume whilst this math node goes into density. The principal volume then plugs into the volume. For the starry background, you want to have a texture coordinate plugged into a mapping node that goes into a noise texture. I have set the scale of the noise texture to 400. The noise texture then feeds into a color ramp where the black color was set to 0.795. This also fed into a background node that was connected to surface in the world outputs. Thank you for watching, consider subscribing if you found the video useful.